Hi guys, it's your girl Vani. Welcome to Pieces of Me TV. I'm back with a black ink review and child Caesar show his ass this uh, episode, okay? So let's get into it. Uh, it starts out with C's uh, going to meet his brother. You know what? His brother gives me like a crackhead vibe. Like almost like y'all remember Jungle Fever? Like he give me gator. Like if you give him a dollar, he'll dance. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so him and his brother are talking and basically what C's tells him is the chick he used to mess with before he was messing with Duchess. He, you know... Hit her up to be like, hey, how you doing? And then they fucked. And um, he said Duchess called the girl and they talked. And then the girl woke him up and gave him the phone. Uh, and she said, bring your ass home. <laughs> and, you know, it, it just was crazy. And this nigga talking about bitches ain't shit. And it's a conspiracy theory. You cheated and got caught, but it's a conspiracy theory? Okay, see, see, this is why, this is why God's work my nerves, y'all. Like, seriously, I thank God for Jesus that my husband ain't never put me through nothing like this. Because it get real ugly. Uh, Duchess is back at the ranch. And she's packing all his shit, okay? And she gonna say... Why he got all this shoe or all these shoes? This why he can't keep the lights on at uh, the shop. I'm like, yes, girl, you better go off. But I was thinking more of why he got all these shoes and y'all house look like this. I'm just saying, and y'all ain't had no couch. Y'all had an air mattress. Like now, how y'all walking around? I mean, driving around in these nice cars and your house look like shit. I'd rather drive a hoopty and my place look nice than to be driving in a nice car that I can't sleep in. Anyway, so Duchess basically is fed up. I mean, she got her shoes on the sidewalk. She's so fed up, she done went and got the dog in the kennel and was about to put the dog in the kennel outside, okay? Uh, so he shows up, wait, no, did he get there yet? No, it goes to season his brother in the car. And he basically said, like, you know, it just wasn't fun for him anymore. Duchess was always emotional and crying and upset and, you know, it just wasn't working anymore. Then you leave. What the hell? Like, this is why I know, like, a lot of guys who cheat just say, like, oh, it wasn't fun anymore. First off, we're not kids, okay? Second, if that's the case, you communicate. You talk to me. And then if I'm not hearing it, then we break up and we leave. We go our separate way. And then you have fun with the next bitch. You don't fuck that bitch and then think our relationship gonna work. It don't work that way, boo. Anyway. Um, then his brother, oh my God, his brother was pissing me off. Gator gonna say, uh, you treated her like a queen. I mean, you left all the homies, you sacrificed business, all of that to be with her and treat her right. And this is what she do? What she do? What are you talking about? He cheated, not her. Like, he acting like Duchess got caught cheating. I don't... Oh, and then he gonna say, you made her. You made her into who she is. Is that why he living with her? Because he made her? If it, he made her, it'd be the other way around. Anyway. Um... They arrived to uh, the house and Duchess had called the police or whatever. And the police basically said, look, we could arrest you if he lived here and you put his shit out. So she like, okay, she don't want to get arrested. She don't want no problems. So she brings his stuff back in the house and the police go out to the car, ask him to come in. And he starts gathering all his stuff. And she's like, I don't want no problems when I come get my shit from the shop. And he was like, it won't be no problems because... Neither one of them wanted their ass arrested. So the police, I guess, leave and uh, he calls Teddy with a van to come help them get, you know, the stuff or whatever. And Duchess was like, what the fuck did he bring Teddy for? I mean, what, he gonna take your shit to his mama house? Because Teddy lived with his mama. I'm like, dang, Dutch, you ain't have to put him on blast like that. Anyway, so he wants to talk to her and instead of... You're having the mind frame that I got caught cheating, my hand was in the cookie jar, and I need to try to not have this bitch blow my spot up, so let me go ahead and apologize. No. Duchess is giving him all this information. I thought she was talking very calmly, letting him know, look, you hurt me. 
You hurt me. You had unprotected sex with this bitch. Mind you, his daddy died of AIDS. Is that not like a wake up call for you? You know, and she's like, I have to find all of this out from her. You telling her you're going to marry her and do 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 do. And he's like, I ain't say that. So she was like, well, then call her. Call her and tell her you done. Call her, call her and tell her you ain't say none of that. Awkward silence because you can't. And Duchess was like calling him out on it. And so then when he got called out on it, he got into his little man feelings, his little ego, his little pride. And had to come back with, well, I ain't say five years ago when Melvin called me. I ain't say, my boy, really? And I, I'm not sure if Duchess cheated with that guy or had been talking to that guy. I don't know, you know, what it is or whatever. But either way, go. I'm sorry. I don't think he would have, a guy would have called him and told him, I fucked your girl. And he not would have brought it up. So I really think it was like some petty bitch shit. And now that you're caught, you're trying to throw it in her face. So she was like, get the fuck out. Go, bye, get out. And then, you know, he leaves. Um, what happened? Okay, then it goes to Oshit and Puma. And Oshit wants to talk to Puma because Puma's married. And, you know, he went through this whole process. And he wants to know what he thinks about marriage. And, you know, he lets him know that, hey, he wants to marry. What's that girl name? Michelle A. Um, no shade. But, you know, he wants to marry her and we'll do do it. So, Puma basically is the voice of reasoning. Like, look, if you're just trying to marry this girl because you don't want to have another baby mama and you, you know, want to make an honest woman out of her, you're just doing it because the baby don't do it. Because marriage shit ain't easy. And so, uh, oh shit thinks this is what he wants to do, but come on now. Richard Duncan does not want it. So, they go to the pawn shop to get a ring, and um, he's like, I want this one right here. Once again, the voice of reason, Puma. You know when Puma is the voice of reason, some ain't right. So, Puma was like, um, dog, um, this is $3,500. You got court fees and other kids and kids on kids on kids. Not racks on racks on racks. Kids on kids on kids. So that's what oh shit has. So he's like, do you really want to do this? My girl got expensive taste. Not really if she's fucking with you. So he gets the ring. But uh, what happens next? Sky comes to the apartment to see. Well, I don't know. Is it an apartment? Is it a house? I don't know. Sky comes to the trap where Duchess live to see her. And baby, when I tell you, as soon as she walked in, like, before she walked in, she looked flawless, skin glowing, looking cute. Walked in there and sweat just started just pouring. So, Duchess fills her in on what's going on, how the bitch emailed her. I'm sorry, let me not call that girl a bitch because I don't know. Maybe she's a good woman. But then again, she can't be because she knew Duchess and him were together. So, that bitch sent Duchess an email with their pictures, okay? And Duchess found her on Facebook and called her like a private eye that she is. And she was like, so he cheated. So, you know, you mad? That's why you got the heat on in here, girl. She was dabbing. Sweat was just dripping. I ain't never seen nobody sweat that bad. And they ain't moving, okay? So, she was like, yeah, we had a, I caught her and she said she wanted to talk to me. We had a five and a half hour conversation. And the bitch pulls out the iPad and plays the conversation for Sky. First off, that is some shit that I would do because Caesar's is the type of nigga that would lie to you and tell you that the sky is green when you can clearly see it's blue. That's the type of nigga he is. So you got to have proof when you step to him. But then again, I wouldn't need no proof, nigga. I don't care if you lied to me or not. I called when you was in that bitch bed. I don't give a fuck if you was making the bed and you ain't fucked the girl. You was at her house. I ain't know it. And the bitch called me with some shit. So no, don't come back. That's all I would have need. I don't need to talk to the bitch. She just sent me the pictures and I had emailed her back and said, thanks, you can have them. The end. Anyway, so Sky is on the same note that I'm on. Bitch, why are you having a buddy, buddy ass conversation with this bitch? Like, she's fucking your man. And you had a five and a half hour conversation. And I'm talking about talking like they was two girlfriends. Like, <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> no, fuck that. I ain't saying you got to be all, fuck you, bitch. I'm going to beat your ass. You ain't got to do all that. All you need to do is accept that email for what it was. 
He been with this bitch. Okay, even the phone call. We had unprotected sex. He here right now. The end. That's all I needed to hear. Pass that nigga the phone. Nigga, fuck you. Stay where you at. That's it. Why are we having conversations with this side bitch? Anyway, so after that, Scott needs a drink. So, girl, she go into that kitchen and takes that wine bottle straight to the head. I said, yes, can you give me a shot? Because I'm stressed watching this. Um, then it goes back to the shop and sees it's making up excuses. Like, for all the reasons why their relationship wasn't working. And that's why it's okay that he cheated. And Scott basically calls him out on this shit. Like, okay, that's all good and dandy. And maybe that me and that bitch ain't gonna be friends. Maybe she is a shady bitch or doing all the things you said she was gonna do. But that don't change the fact that you're wrong. You stuck your dick in somebody you shouldn't have. And it backfired on that ass. And now you mad. Anyway. Goes to oh shit nine yeah and I basically was like you know when Kathy told me I'm just another one of your baby mamas it rubs me the wrong way I don't want to you know be like that and so he's like well you're not just another baby mama and then he pulls the ring out and he's like you my fiance I'm like that's it I'd have been like no can we do a redo this is uh -uh, uh -uh, this ain't working so then he gets down on one knee and you know she can't believe it and. Yeah, she's so emotional. She says, okay. And then as soon as she puts that ring on, she says, now I own you. Like, it was like some demonic shit. Like, <gasps> yes, I will. And then the ring got on her finger. She was like, no, I own you, bitch. Like, that was the type of shit it was. It was real crazy. And then it goes back to the shop. See, he's doing that a tattoo. And he's having a moment of fucking clarity. And he's like, secretly, he think he wanted to get caught. That's called break the fuck up and leave. That's what that's called. You should try it sometime instead of being a slum bag. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, if you enjoyed that episode, if you enjoyed this review, give this video a thumbs up, guys. Please subscribe. Join the Pieces of Me TV family. I look at my subscribers like cousins. You can't have no money, but you can definitely get a cup of sugar, okay? And I'm going to give you these videos. So it's like, you know, we have a good thing going on here. Why well, mess it up? Please share this video on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all your social networks. And you'll find the links to my social networks in the underneath a bar that's underneath of this video. And that's pretty much it. Oh, wait, no. Comments. Hello. I love talking to you guys. You guys leave some of the funniest comments. Y'all comments be better than the show. Please leave your comments on what you thought about the episode, what you thought about this review. I don't know anything talk about the weather how about here in Michigan it was hot and I was sweating two days ago and it's snow on the fucking ground oh and it's fucking flurries right now god damn it this is some of that bullshit okay leave a comment y'all and I'll talk to you guys next time bye